A stronger day, be your best every day. Hi, I'm Ademus, founder and director of Strength Optimizer. I aim to help you develop and amplify your strengths so that you can be your best selves and enable greatness in others. Have you ever wondered why you do what you do, why you like certain things, and why you're better at some things than others? And there is a reason. The reason is your strengths. Your strengths are your natural talents, which are developed through years of intentional practice. When you're using your strengths, you're performing at your best. You also feel competent, engaged, energized, and authentic. In this Clifton Strength series, you will meet 34 individuals with different kinds of backgrounds, professions, and all walks of life. But they all share a common theme. That is, they have been actively and intentionally using their strengths to achieve success, enhance well-being, and enable greatness in others. And here are their Clifton Strength stories. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Ademus and I'm the founder and director of Strength Optimizer. Thank you for watching Strength Optimizer, the Clifton Strength series. Today, we have Lian Camilleri, who is the organization and well-being specialist and coach joining us today. Lian is also a host for the Live Well, Work Well podcast series. How are you, Lian? Oh, hi, Ademus. I'm very good, thank you. That's good, that's good. Yeah, thank you for joining us today and giving up your time to share with us uh, one of your top fifth insurance. You're my sponsor. That's good, that's good. So Lian, tell us, um, what do you do for a living? Well, I help people uh, in organisations manage their well-being so that they can work well and live well. Um, I help uh, teens to um, improve engagement within uh, their organisations and, and um, and uh, yeah, I, I, um, I, I just get a massive kick out of helping people, uh, you know, manage their well-being. Excellent, excellent. Just judging from the way that you are telling us a little bit about what you do, you know, I can't help the feel this sense of enthusiasm and energy coming up from you. <laughs> <laughs> I do so, get a bit excited. <laughs> yes, that's good, that's good. So how long have you been in this role, Ian? Um, well, this is this is my own business, so I've been mm -hmm. in this for about uh, about seven years now. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And so, for the last seven years, what do you love or like about what you do, then, Ian? Well, uh, I I just love helping people. You know, yeah. I I um I, I love to bring out the best in others. Um, mm. That's come from my own experience of adversity. Yeah. And um, uh, you know, I worked in a um, you know, a tough uh, organisation or, or, or industry um, mm. where, um, you know, uh, the experience um, of, of redundancies and uncertainty and, and all that sort of thing was, was um, uh, very present. So uh, it, it really inspired me to, you know, want to make a difference there. Mm. So, um so yeah, so that that's where uh, that's what I've been doing, and 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 um, and I guess how I, how I go about uh, you know, doing what I do. I help um, different uh, leaders in um, you know in their teams to identify um, you know areas where they can improve to build engagement, and and um, and I get a massive kick out of seeing yeah. uh, the difference that that brings. Excellent, excellent. And I don't know that Lian, you've done quite a fair bit of work in the area of redundancy, as you mentioned. You know, I guess that uh, you know, one of your model is to, as much as possible, we know that redundancy itself can be really tough, you know, challenging, and and discouraging. But yet, I guess that through your works that you have a lot of individuals and organizations to. I guess not to put a, a sweet quote over a very challenging experience, but somehow able to harden to turn that redundancy experience into some positive opportunities. Would it be correct to say so? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. So some people, for, or for some people, redundancy is um, is a gift. Mm. You know, they're, they're okay with that, and and but for others, it can come as quite a surprise. 
yeah. and, and and quite a challenge uh, and a disruption to their life and and the lives of those around them. So um, uh, yeah, it, it can be quite a challenge, but but helping people to find pathways to navigate those challenges, yeah. uh, you know, really helps them to uh, start to come out of the fog mm. uh, in that experience. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So Leanne, um, what is your top Clifton strength then? My top Clifton strength is connectedness. Connectedness, all right. Um, to be honest, I guess that for some people, connectedness may not necessarily be a, a very common terms or word that people understand. Uh, according to Clifton strengths, people who are exceptionally talented, talented in the connected strengths, they have faith that everything links together. In other words, they believe that there are very few core incidents in life and almost every event has a meaning. So to what extent do you agree with this definition, Leanne? I think I do agree with that. I, I, don't, I don't know that that is my... Um, uh, um, I, I don't know that I actually um, go out saying, oh, yes, th this, is, this is supposed to happen right now and, and, and this, this was supposed to happen. But, but I think that I do sort of develop, you know, when, when I look at the... Um, you know the criteria for the Clifton strengths. I, I do identify with that. I do feel that there is meaning in my experiences, um, and and uh, you know everything happens for a reason. I guess I do have that view. <laughs> I think that's an easier way to explain it, right? And for people who are talented in connectedness, and one of the common motto or mantra is everything happens for reasons. Yeah. or some whatever i guess a reason they're able to see opportunities and even out from a very adverse or challenging type of situations mm, definitely I, I know my own experiences i if i am challenged i always try to find the opportunity mm. to um you know to, to navigate that experience and that probably comes from that strength yeah yeah that's good that's good so um how does the strength of connectedness show up in your work or Shona, in what you do then, Leanne? I think that uh, how it shows up is, um, I, 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 get, um, I get a real buzz with, uh, you know, seeing the best in others and helping them bring that out in themselves. And, and, and you know, uh, so, so how that looks for me, um, I guess, in a workplace is, um, you know, uh, seeing your strengths, Ademus, yeah. and helping you um, be your best at those and, and supporting, supporting you and, and, and seeing, seeing that in you and, and, and connecting through that way. Um, yeah, I think that's how it shows up. Excellent. Yes. And once again, I think that, uh, you know, people who have uh, the strength of connectedness, again, they can be really perceptive as, as well. They'll be able to actually um, have a very strong observations and uh, rather than seeing one single event as in isolation, they're able to see a bigger picture and try to piece the different parts of the pictures together. And I think that perhaps, you know, that's also one of the strengths that you are demonstrating, you know, based on the extent that I do know you personally, in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, I know that I can be that voice of reason, um, you know, to, to, to try and make um, sense of things. And I think that is part of that in, in um, you know, putting things together and, 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 and seeing how um, everything, everything fits and, and the reasons behind it. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Can you also tell us that uh, on how has the strengths of connectedness, have you succeeded in the past? Uh, how has that helped me to succeed in the past? Well, I think that, you know, by building uh, relationships uh, with, you know, with people, I, I think, you know, when, when I um, think of myself as a connector, I also, you know, that, that sort of comes under the, the relationship builder kind of um, banner. Uh, and, and that is something that, that, um, that I think I draw on is, is that, you know, building building relationships through connection. Yeah. So seeing, um, seeing, you know, the best in you. Uh, I, th I think that um, perhaps uh, uh, my way of being, although I, you know, 
probably am not fully aware of it at, at the time, I think I do look deeper into people. I have that, um, you know, I read you a bit more deep, deeply, yeah. if that makes sense. I, I connect with you perhaps more. And, yeah. and, and, um, and I definitely feel that way when I have conversations. I, I, um, I, I do feel I, um, I find something to connect with and, 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 you know, bring out the, you know, try to bring out the best in you and, mm. and, and, and others. So, yeah. yeah. The way that I'm seeing you perhaps you're still connecting to another strength would be like the strength of curiosity and you're generally interested in people, not just superficially. And then, you know, you want to move beyond the superficial, how you're doing, yeah, I'm fine, you move on kind of conversation. Because as you say, you know, it just loves to having the kids at the bus by just forming an authentic relationship, you know, with the strength of curiosity. So that's the way I see it as well. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right. I mean, if you know me, you know I like to have a chat. <laughs> <laughs> just like, what are we doing right now? Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> <laughs> um and, and so yeah i think i think you're right <laughs> okay that's good good well um i'm afraid that that's all the time that we have for today so once again thank you for joining us leanne and if um any, any one of you want to engage the expertise in helping individuals and workplaces managing the stress uh, improving the mental fitness and building resilience, then make sure you visit Lian's website at liancamillary.com.au. Again, that's Lian Camillary. I hope I pronounced your last name right. You did. Dot com dot au. Thank you for watching. My name is Ademus from Strength Optimizers. We are here at Liense to bring out the best in you through activating your strengths. Thank you, everyone, and have a wonderful day. Bye.